Hi there, I'm Gupta Habit and this is Hello Good Boy. Now Hello Good Boy is a non-linear adventure game in which you help a lost soul mend past mistakes while also, you know, running around with a cute dog. Now this is the demo version of Hello Good Boy, the full game is coming soon on Steam, but until then we have a demo out, so we're gonna check it out together. Yes, from the beginning. From the very beginning. In the end, that's all that's left of us is a memory. A story to last forever. Everything's dark. It's almost midnight. Finally, you made it home. It was a rough day, but eventually it went well. You're getting ready to sleep. After putting on your pajamas, you lie in your bed and drift off to sleep. Your last thought is, what comes after? Well, adventure, obviously. Time passed. You don't know how long. You're certain you are awake. You don't know where you are, but you feel familiar. But it feels familiar, I guess. Oof! Oh! Huh. I'm here! Hello, good kid! Before you ask why there's a dog that can speak, uh, I can explain. You wait for the explanation. Actually, I can't speak human language. But humans understand me. Uh, understand what I say. And before you ask where we are, WTK. Welcome to Kuruto. Now you know that this place is called Kuruto. And so, what's your name? Um, say my name. Yeah. Suddenly, you can't recall your name. No matter how hard you try, you just can't seem to remember. Alright then, I'll call you Iko. You don't know who Iko is. But for some reason, you accept it. Iko, do you know my name? Mm, no, I don't. I knew it. Then I shall introduce myself. <laughs> Actually, I have no name. But they call me Coco. Now you know that the dog's name is Coco. I was a wolf once, now I'm a good, bo a good boy and a good dog also. You don't know what he said, uh, you don't know what he said will be very important later. That he was... a wolf? Anyway, I'll accompany you throughout your journey in Kuruto. So let's just start. I'll explain the details along the way. <laughs> Alright. What's Kuruto exactly? You are shocked but try to, st to stay calm. Then, let's get started, Iko. You don't know what's starting. You don't know what's going to happen next. Hmm, let's reassure ourselves. Having doubts while confronting an uncertainty is reasonable. You take long, deep, calming breaths. And it makes you feel better. Coco trouts enthusiastically and it reassures you. Alright, let's go. To the portal. Jump, well, run, run in. Yeah, you can jump also. That's fine. I like how the loading screen is, uh, has Coco running. Here we are, Iko. This is the Grand Hall of Kuruto. The beginning, the starting point, the ground zero. This Grand Hall is where we start our journey in Kuruto. The lighting is dim, yet smooth. Supported by glowing runes on the wall. Whatever it is, this place makes you feel warm. Iko, our journey in Kuruto will be challenging. Even though you're a good kid, you still need preparation for the journey. So, I will provide supplies. That's a magic hourglass. The magic hourglass will mark our journey. It will end when all the sand has already flown down. 
You obtain a magic hourglass. You feel its magic and notice its importance for this journey right away. Oh, this is a magic toolbox. It's a toolbox with magical powers. Yeah, kind of get that. Even if you, uh, you don't have any repairing skills, you'll still be able to use these tools. You obtained a magic toolbox. You're not sure how to use them, but now you're confident that you can repair anything. There's more. One more thing. Also very important. So we go, our journey will be full of choices. And as a good guide, I have prepared a warm-up for you. Okay. Okay. Please choose one. One drink, you examine. Those four drinks are all different and you're not sure what they are. Well, once... Uh, let's see. Take the spicy drink. Take the box beverage, take the fizzy drink, or take the water with leaves. Water with leaves, I'm guessing that's tea? The other one looks like lemonade. And the box one, apple juice? Uh, let's take the fizzy drink. You pick the soft drink. You feel bubbly and lively as you see the sparkles inside the bottle. An interesting choice, Iko. I hope you won't regret it. You now, um, you know regretting things that already happened is useless. But that still happens. Hmm, there are leftovers. Because I don't want these to be wasted. And because you're such a good kid, I'll give you the rest too. As extra supplies. Oh. Thanks, Coco. No problem. I'm happy if Iko is happy. Oh, That's such a dog type of attitude. Like, if the human's happy, he's happy. You obtain an apple juice. You can already feel how refreshing it is by imagining the way it can quench your thirst. You obtain a mint. Oh, see, it's tea, yeah. You feel relaxed and relieved as you smell its peppermint aroma. And you obtain a warm ginger honey lemon. Your muscles are relaxed and you feel uh, healed as you uh, as you sense its warmth. Warmth, warmth. You're feeling grateful. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. I think that's enough for the warm-up. Alright, we got our supplies. We're ready to face whatever comes next. Which is? Oh, he's stretching. That's cute. Let's start our journey. Okay. What? Hmm, almost forgot. One more thing. Uh, stay still, give ear rub, give belly rub. Ear rub? Let's try that. Oh, so cute. Adorbs. Hm, my supplies are recharged uh, are recharged too. And you know, you can pet me anytime throughout the journey. Your pets are always welcome, and I'll receive them happily. Let's go! It's time to start our adventure. Right. Okay. So do we go through one of these doors? What this hallway is the essence of a journey we have to go through. In this hallway, there are four magical doors. Every door will take us to another world. Behind each door, there will be an unimaginable experience. And we will never know whether it's going to be a good or bad experience. Whatever it is, going through any of the doors is a good choice. As far as you can see, this hallway seems endless. It's kind of dark and you're a little bit confused. Receiving a lot of new information makes you feel curious, yet overwhelmed. And it seems like Coco realizes that. Don't worry. If there's anything you'd like to know, just ask me. As a good guide, I will, uh, I will uh, always help Iko. Let's go now, for real. <laughs> okay. Uh, e, so we can talk to Coco. Oh, what's up? Hmm, play, talk. Let's talk to him. Let's see. Hmm? Uh, what are these drinks? What do you do in this journey? Hmm. No, let's go... Yeah, what do you do on this journey? That's a good question. During our journey in Kuruto, you just have to be a good kid, Iko. So there will be no problem since you're the good kid. Hmm. Um, yes. I think you are a good kid. I am a good kid. I knew it. My sniffing powers are splendid. And oh, oh, 
That's the most important things of the journey, Echo. Don't forget to enjoy it. That's what uh, that's what we're here for. To enjoy it? Okay. Mm, let me see. Yeah, tell me about the hourglass for that's that's that should be important. The magic hourglass is a marker for our journey in Kuruto. When you run out of sand, our journey will end. The way time works here is different than in our world. In our world, uh, in your world, actually, it's because I guess Coco is not from our world. In your world, Iko. Hmm. Let's see about the magic toolbox. As you can see, it contains a hammer, a screwdriver, a saw, a wrench, and one more tool. But I don't know that name. Each tool will be used at the right moment. Oh, and they're all equipped with magical powers. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, no more questions for now. Nico, I understand if you feel like everything is overwhelming. It's feel it's fine to feel that way. But don't worry, we'll get more answers as we go along. Somehow you feel relieved when you hear Coco's answers. Even though you don't have all the answers yet, you think Coco is somehow right. You feel eager to start the journey. Well, let's see what's here. You analyze the symbols carved on the wall. It seems like those symbols have meanings that connect to your journey. Hmm. Okay, these doors don't do anything. Okay. What do we have here? You feel excited and happy when you start when you stand in front of this door. You try to interact with the door, but you can't. Well, seems like you have to wait for the full version. Aww, that's not available in the demo. What the? Is this a mirror? You see picture frames with silhouettes in it. You're not sure what silhouettes those are. Okay, this door can be opened, right? Let me see if there's anything else. Okay, so these... Oh, I get it. It's the seasons. Right. Right. In uh, Yeah, this is winter. Then we have autumn, summer, and spring. Okay, that's that's how it works. Okay, we can go in the summer then. Okay. Summer world. You're standing in front of an open door. Your mood has been boosted and you feel joyful. Can you feel that, Eagle? That warmth and optimistic feeling? Like the flowers in your heart are in full bloom. What an interesting door. You feel intrigued by this door. You're aware that this choice will determine the course of your journey. Do you want to go inside? Um, yes. Hmm, so a little, bit, a little bit of the sand went, okay. Also, maybe you won't be able to go through each door. Huh. Take a look at the magical uh, hourglass. You have used one chance to make a major decision, Nico. Well, let's go now. You can see that Coco is excited, and that makes you feel giddy as well. After you, Coco. <laughs> so cute. I guess he's a, a golden retriever, right? Maybe something like that? Hmm... Memory of an argument with a loved one, maybe? A partner? Wow. You and Coco appear in a place filled with spring blossoms. The soft, sweet floral scent rushes into your nose. You suddenly feel light, as if you're blooming like the flowers. What a beautiful place! Don't you agree, Iko? This place made me feel like my life is uh, more fulfilling. <laughs> I love running between the flowers. Unfortunately, my nose gets itchy after that. So, let's try, Iko. I'm sure it will also bring you a touch of happiness. Yeah, maybe. Okay, we can look at the... Right. Here comes the sun! Do -do 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 -do. I say it's all right, it's all right, all right. He barks in mysterious ways. What a breathtaking view! I can't help but sing. 
Which do you think is the most interesting, Eko? Let's see, the vast field of flowers, the broad lake, the faraway mountain, everything. Well, kind of everything, actually. That's right, it's an all-in-one wonder. Yet, the most interesting thing to, for me is being in this place with Eko. Aww, that's adorable. That is adorable. Wait, let's see, tab. Summer story. You and Coco arrive in a heavenly place filled with colorful flowers everywhere you look. The fragrance uh, was as delightful as uh, how you felt. A majestic mountain and a gorgeous lake frames the background perfectly. Mm. Okay. Oh, this is uh... You're not supposed to see that, because we didn't get to that. I guess it doesn't reset. The, the badges don't reset apparently. Look, Igo! There's someone right there! My nose tells me that she's in some sort of trouble. Huh. Dang, what should I do? Uh. Good day! I'm Coco, and this is Iko. What's your name? You think Coco always asks someone's name when he meets them for the first time? Oh? Huh? What? What did you... Oh! Uh, hi there, doggy! And hey kid, oh sorry, I was spacing out. What are your names again? Oh, my name is Coco, and this is Iko. Oh, uh, hi Coco, hi Iko. Sorry, I'm just having um, a, a bit of difficulty here. Right, I'm being so rude. My name is uh, Hedera, nice to meet you guys. Oh, I can smell your turmoil from afar. What's bothering you? Can Iko and I perhaps help you? Um, never mind. Fine, let me fill you in. I have an appointment with someone. We promised to meet here. We already agreed on the time and place. Well, I was running a little late. And when I came, he was gone. Poof. Nada. Uh, na uh nada. Okay. He left me this stupid note on the table and told me to be patient. Uh, what does that mean, be patient? What else might be more important than me? Uh, what the heck is wrong with him? I was really waiting for this date to come. I really wanted to go on a picnic date. With all these flowers blooming beautifully. And the sunlight hits perfectly, creating a reflection on the surface of the lake. Ah, uh, so serene. But now, I have to say goodbye to all of that. Hmm. What the heck is, where the heck is he? This perfect moment can't, won't last long. And can't last long. Oh, I bet he ran off with another girl. No, no, no. What should I do? All of a sudden, Hedera burst into anger. She couldn't help but spit out words after words. It's happening non-stop. Frankly, you're feeling a bit uncomfortable being in this situation. Relax, Hedera. Calm down. I think she's totally agitated. Hmm. What can we do to help, Iko? Um, look for her date? That could be help, right? That might be the only thing we can do right now. I have a sniffing superpower. As long as there's an object that the person has held before, I can memorize the smell and follow the trail. <laughs> you think Coco's ability is cool. You wonder what kind of object you can use. We'll help you find that someone. No worry. We're gonna uh, tell them that you're waiting right here. Whoa. No need to bother. But honestly, I think it will really help. I think it would be better for me to stay here, right? And, um... I'm sorry for lashing out like that. This is our first meeting, yet I already feel so close with you. Thanks in advance. Oh, and... My name is Hachi. His name is Hachi, not my. His, she's Hedera. His name is Hachi. If you find him, please tell him that Hedera is waiting for him. Uh, so hard trying to figure out what he means. Only leaving in that note for me. I sure hope you guys find him soon. Uh, Hedera's a little clingy. Little clingy. Yep, this note is our clue. Hachi's sin must be all over it, because he wrote it. There we go, we got some, uh... There we go. We got the trail. 
your stunned as a mysterious silhouette appears in front of you, accompanied by visible footsteps going into the distance. That's it! You can see it, right? He went that way! Let's follow the trail, Iko! Yeah. Well, we got a clue here. What's here? Oh, more, more sand? There we go! I'm sure he went. Uh, we we're on the right track. Where is he going, though? Come on, Nico. We have to keep going. Yeah, and, and look for this lover boy. We're good boys. He's the lover boy. Makes sense, right? Hmm. Something odd is happening. I've lost his scent all of a sudden. What? It seems like something had intercepted my sniffing skill. I feel on edge as well. What? Hmm. What's the problem, Nico? Oh, sorry, Coco. That uh, equals I'm Nico. Uh oh. What's with the. Uh oh, that's not good. Is that what's bothering you? You're starting to feel an uncomfortable atmosphere. You feel unsettled, and your passion is suddenly slipping away. Okay, what's that? Listen here, good kid. Those things? The dark liquid-like things are called blackwood. Now you know those things are called blackwood. You assume it's a wordplay of black and liquid. It's a bad thing that ruins people's joy. Mm, I'm not sure why it's already here. Where is it now? Oh no! You can hear Coco mumbling. You feel his seriousness. Hmm. Yeah, let's ask more about it. Listen, Nico. I think it will be overwhelming for now. Worry not, I promise I will explain when the time comes. But of course, I will give you a hint on how to make it disappear. I will only say it once. Except if Iko wants me to repeat it. <laughs> okay. The only way to remove Blackwood is to rearrange and mend everything it has ruined. Okay, I get it. Now you know that the, uh, you must fix everything the Blackwood um, ha has broken to get rid of it. Yep, that's the only way. Of course, it's not an, as an easy thing to do. Unpleasant even. Especially because of the uncomfortable feeling you get around Blackwood. You feel the weird, unpleasant feeling, as Coco said. But I'm sure that Iko can do it. And don't forget, I'll always be by your side! Aww. Seeing Coco, uh, Coco's waggling tail, wagging tail, your spirit has been lifted. <laughs> okay. So there's some sunflowers that... okay. Look at those flowers! They're destroyed! I wonder what happened here? What a shame, this place was so beautiful! Should we take care of this eco? Um, yeah, of course! What do we do, eco? Well, uh, yeah, clean first. Clean the, 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 well, dead plants, right? Yeah, good idea! But first, we need to put the broken ones aside. Let's go then! Let's pull the broken flowers out of the ground. Okay. That's one. Ah! And see, the, the blackwood uh, became smaller. Hmm. Yeah! Great progress, Eko. Now we can look for fresh flowers to plant in these holes. Fresh. Oh, uh, the, the ones here. Agree. These flowers look like they're a great fit to be replanted. Alright, we got one here. One here. There we go. I don't know what those or orbs are though. Great! We got everything we need. Let's start planting. Do we need to water them as well or... 
I don't know. Oh, the black one's gone. Great, you're doing a good job. Uh, everything, uh, um, even though the newly planted ones aren't able to surpass the beauty of their predecessors, we've tried our best to take care of them. I mean, they have to grow now. I mean, you know, give them time. I can't wait for these flowers to bloom. Hooray! Wonderful! And all the blackwood is gone! It wasn't easy, but you did it, Iko! You're happy you did it. The blackwood in the surrounding area disappears. You're also relieved because that unpleasant feeling is gone. Let's continue our journey then! Yes. Let's continue our journey. The sharp thorns that surround the plants make it dangerous to walk through. You think it's best to look for another way around? Hmm. Okay. Another way around. Oh, look at those birdhouses. It's so cute. Oh. Oh, more blackwood. And a destroyed birdhouse. Oh no. I think it's a birdhouse. Looks like it's been ripped off, off that tree. Who could possibly do this? The black wood, obviously. Do you want to fix it, Iko? Yeah, of course. Let's go. I'm right beside you. Aha, so that's what we're gonna use the magical tools. Starting with... I guess the... Okay. You got this. That's a cute mini game. Okay, hammer. On. Hit it. There we go. I like how uh, Coco is just encouraging me over there. And the drill. There we go. Ouch! Oh, that was a bit too much. Okay, that was good. There we go. Nice! Be gone, Blackwind! Thank you for fixing it, Dico. Now the birds can use it as a shelter. Yeah. Yeah, they don't need to build their own uh, home. They have one right here. Mm. Anything up here? More bird. Oh, hello. Oh, wait, what's here? Oh, another blackwood thing. Look, you go. There's a sign here. It's broken, so we can't read what it says. Should we fix it? Um, yeah, let's let's banish all the black wind. Yay! Let's do this! Get my tools out. Time to work. Let's get to work. Wonderful! There we go. You're amazing! Well, thank you. Splendid! You have to know when you... Okay, there we go. Aha! It's fixed! Now, what does it say? Yay! You did great, Ego! Now we can read what it says! And uh, what's that? The sign states that this place is a forest commonly known for sightseeing. Now you think it's probably why the forest looks well maintained. Hmm, alright, now let's see what this is about. Oof. Look, it's a hen and a goose. Let's say hi to them. Hello there. Quack, quack, quack. Cluck, cluck. Quack. <laughs> quack, quack. You're having difficulties following this conversation. Um, Mrs. Hen has been gathering seeds during their journey in the forest. Mr. Goose thinks it'll be too much of a bother. But Mrs. Hen insists on bringing them home, because they can only be found in this forest. Then, after she had collected a large amount of seeds, Mrs. Hen couldn't pack them well. She tried countless times using different techniques, but she hasn't found the right one yet. Quack quack. Whoa. Quack quack quack. Mr. Goose has run out of patience. He's afraid he won't get to, to their destination at time at this rate. What can we do to help, Iko? Hmm. Try to arrange the seeds, yeah. Let's try that. Yes, that's it. Great idea. Great idea. Okay. 
Oh, so we have to put them... Um... I can rotate these, right? There we go. Mm. Let's see, I put this here. That's a lot of seeds, by the way. Mm. There we go. I put this... Here, maybe? Would that be good? No, here. Because this one is longer, yeah. This one here. This one here. Nice! That's all the seeds nicely packed. Very nicely packed. And we helped. No black with this time, but still. You're awesome, Iko. Mrs. Hen is satisfied and happy. Mr. Goose is also glad that we can, they, can see, they can continue their journey. Quack, quack, quack. Clock, clock. They said thank you for your kindness. Now they're gonna continue their journey. <laughs> okay, goodbye. <laughs> That's cute. That's adorable. Safe trip! <laughs> you stretching. You stretching, Coco. Alright, let's see. So we've... Okay, we've been through here. More houses. Anything else destroyed? Hmm. Oh, can we go up here? Yeah, okay. Oh! Hmm, hmm. Too bad. I wonder what happened. Risha says girls love surprises. And this spot was supposed to be the perfect place to surprise Hedera. Okay, so he must be the date. Um, Hachi, right? Hmm. Hiya, are you Hachi? Whoa, how did you know my name? But yeah, I'm Hachi. Well, nice to meet you. I'm Koko and this is Iko. We met Heather on the way and we promised to help her find you. Oh, whoa. Didn't realize that I've been here way too long. Oh no, she must be so angry. Well, she is actually, yes. That's right, she's expecting you. Okay, fine, but um... Hmm? What's wrong? As you can see here, the picnic table has been destroyed. At first I thought I could take Hedera and have the picnic here instead. Just like what I've been researching. Uh, researching? What research? This research that says greenery plays a key role in keeping women healthy and happy. Hmm, I don't really understand, but it probably makes sense. It's science. You also feel calmer when you are surrounded by lots of vegetation and greenery. I think Hedera can become less gloomy if we have a picnic here. <laughs> yeah, but right, we, we need to repair the table, right? So what do you think, Iko? I mean... Let's help him fix this. Yeah. Good idea. Nico really is a good kid. Hachi, we're gonna help you fix this picnic table first. Oh, uh, can you do that? Thanks in advance. It seems a bit impossible to repair. Mm, worry not. I'm sure Nico will be able to fix it with my magical tools. Yes. Of course. Of course, I have my magic tools. That's the spirit. Let's get to it quickly. Alright, so is there anything else here? No, that's the only thing here. Alright, let's repair. Get the tools out. Okay, some chopping. There we go. Nice chopping. Then some cutting with the saw. <laughs> this is really cute. Good progress. There we go, and then drill. Nice. Sweet. There we go, it's done, finished. And the Black Widow also banished. That's good. Great! It's done. Awesome, Iko. Yeah. Thank you, Iko and Coco. Well, I mostly did the work, but okay. Let's head back to Hedera's place now. You're thankful that everything went well. Now it's time to return to Hedera. Oh wait, before we go. 
Did you know that the design of this picnic table has been around and patented since 1918? Now you know, you're glad to be learning this fact. I mean, it's not that useful, but sure. That's like a Snapple fact. Hi! <laughs> oh, she's still pissed off. Hmm. Where the heck have you been? I was just, uh... You can't just disappear on me like that. Do you know how worried I was? What if you got hurt or something? And I'd have no way of knowing. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry. I got here first, so... I wanted to prepare something special for you. I'm sure you're gonna like it. Hmm, always with the excuses. Whatever, getting angry is just a waste of my energy. You never care anyway. Huh? No, no, that's not what I meant. I told you, I'm sorry. Research says being angry makes your face age prematurely. Ah, uh, that's not a, that dude. That's not a good line to say when a woman's angry. Well, I'm here right now, aren't I? You must be happy to see me, right? Uh, finally, after a very long time. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> me too. <laughs> okay, that's it's it's going better now. Ah, right. Biko and Coco are also here. We're sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for helping me find them. Yeah, yeah. Thanks uh, for also giving me a hand. The pleasure is ours. Glad to be a help. And to see you reunited. Mm. Yeah, have a good picnic. Hope the picnic will be splendid. Have fun. Oh, uh, let's join us for the picnic. What a great idea. I brought Terang Bulan. You have to try it. Uh, what's Terang Bulan? Do you know what it is, Yiko? No idea. You never heard of it, right? That's why you gotta come with us. Come on, Nico. Let's go have a nice picnic. Alright, I'll... Some food? Why not? Now, follow me. Where are we going? We have the picnic here. Um, actually, I found a better location. It's in the forest. I've got a surprise for you. <laughs> no way. We already agreed on having a picnic here. I already told you. I really want to go on a picnic date. Surrounded by flowers in full bloom, where the sunlight hits perfectly, creating a reflection on the surface of the lake. And, uh, so serene. Well, we can do it here next time. Now, just trust me. You're gonna be happy when you see it. We discussed before. Uh, you always are so stubborn. Fine. Let's just trust Coco and Nico to make the decision. Huh? They suddenly understand what it's like when a girl already has a dream about something romantic. Really? Hmm, how can we decide? Coco, Iko, do you remember the place where you found me? It's better to have a picnic in that spot, right? What should we do, Iko? Ooh, choices, choices. Let's eat together in the forest. Because that was a very romantic uh, spot, you know, M more cozy, I think. Ha! Huh. I was right! Koka and Nico also think that the spot in the forest is better. No... But I want to stay here. Come on, we need to respect the decision. <laughs> Fine. Jesus, she's such a... Heather is not very... you know... She, she always wants her way. Suddenly, you think of a great idea. You'd like to contribute to this wonderful picnic too. Hachi and Heather have provided the food, so it's only right for you to share some drinks. You think of the drinks Coco has given you. What a neat idea, Iko! I'm sure they'll, be appre they'll appreciate it. Which one do you want to give to Heather and Hachi? Um, let's see... Hmm... I mean... The apple juice sounds like pretty good for the summer, right? For a summer picnic? Hmm, I don't think this is the right choice, Iko. Now, which one do you want to give to Heather and Hachi? Uh, hmm. Okay, the soft drink then? Not the tea, definitely not the tea, because it's hot. Oof, that's it! 
The fizzy bubbly sensation of, the, of this drink will brighten the atmosphere even more. You give the soft drink to Heather and Hachi. Oh, what's this? A drink to accompany the uh, Terang Bulan? You're both super nice. Thanks a lot. You know, uh, the average child drinks over 500 cans of soda a year. I guess I was one of the average kids. <laughs> By the way, that's a lot. 500 cans? So that's 300... yeah. This Terang Bulan dish is like a huge pancake folded in half. You can already imagine the taste of the sweet cheese, peanuts and chocolate sprinkles melting on inside. It smells incredible. A fusion between sweet and salty that makes you almost drool. I mean, I can see... <laughs> I can see Coco's drooling. Uh, let's get a piece. Uh, let's get this one. Don't give it to the dog, because that's not healthy. You can taste the sensation of butter and sugar. The familiar taste of condensed milk is present. And it seems like the dough itself is already sweet. The first bite was eye-opening. Your mouth has, in has been invaded by various spectacular tastes. You take the piece in the center, which looks thicker. The dough is filled with pockets of air. They make it fluffy, but still with a good amount of chewiness. <laughs> Everyone's enjoying. Uh, so good. This is heaven on earth. Yeah. The taste is, is otherworldly. Mm. Now, did you know this dish has so many names? Really? Yep. Some people call it Swik Martabak, Apam Penang, or Hoklopan. Okay. Mm. Why is that? Well, there's always a long, long history behind... Well, food is one of the closest aspects of the history of human civilization. Hmm... What are you talking about? Hmm... Just enjoy the food. Don't think too deeply about the history. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Don't think too much about the history. Uh, let's get a side piece. The flavor combination of the chocolate, cheese, and peanuts is different from what you predicted. The crunchy texture of the peanuts and the slight saltiness of the cheese are in perfect harmony with the rich chocolate taste. This piece at the edge has a thinner dough and more crispy parts. Hmm, this is my favorite part. You can feel the fluffiness of the dough combined with the crunchiness of the peanut. Well, I mean, we're eating and poor Coco is just like drooling. Hmm, this place isn't so bad after all. Why did you insist so much on coming here though? I mean, it's a very nice view. Also the lake, okay, no flowers, but still. Is it... Is it related to that time when you told me the meaning of my name? What was it? A genus of something something? A genus of old world woody vines usually having uh, palmate leaves, but in adult form often becoming shrubby with uh, unlobed leaves. Yeah, that's the definition of Hedera. Surprise! So we're surrounded by Hedera. Look around you, it's everywhere. Hedera is all over this place. What the? You're such a geek. This is what you mean by special surprise? I'm... I'm speechless. <laughs> It sounded better in my head. Well, I hope you like it. <laughs> this beautiful Hedera filled spot will be even better with the one and only Hedera on it. Aww. You're embarrassing. But oddly cute. Aww. Oh, we have another piece? Okay. Last piece, I guess, for me. Poor Coco, still not having anything. You feel guilty as you bite into this piece. It feels like you've consumed a million calories. Yeah, it, do it does look like that. Yet, who could resist the temptation of this heavenly dish? The edge pieces of this uh, Terang Bulan is uh, um, the edge piece of this Terang Bulan is thinner than the rest. It brings an unexpected contrast with the fluffiness of the middle piece. Dun dun dun! I'm so full. If I eat too much, I'll gain weight. <laughs> okay, let me finish this then. Hmm, you know it's not warm anymore. It still tastes good, right? Yeah, tastes like diabetes. 
I love it. Thank you. You must have been through so much. But you see, but that's the thing. This, like, this uh, dish with the sweetness and the saltiness, but mostly the sweetness added with, with the sugar drink. And maybe we should have something different to drink. You must have been through so much just to prepare the surprise for me. It's worth it though. Seeing your smile makes it worth it. Oh, That's kind of cute. Oh. What now? What is it? Oh, why is she sad? I always had trouble trusting other people. Especially men. I think it all started when my father left. It makes me think that all men do is hurt. They hurt and they leave. That's why I was so freaked out when you were gone. Oh, I'm sorry. You've been very kind to me. Yet deep down, I always got this insecurity. The thing that things will crumble apart when I least expect it. I've been paralyzed by those fears. Hence it's hard not to feel so negative. I never knew you feel like that. Listen, I'm about to say this without proof or data, so it might be hard to believe, but I'm not gonna leave you. Well, that's what he says now. I believe that you're here to stay. You understand my insecurities, as if I'm um, always, uh, always ready to fight for me. That's right. We just have to go slowly, little by little, okay? Okay. Oh, I'm gonna cry. I don't want to cry in front of Eco and Coco. Give me a hug. You can cry all you want here. <laughs> oh no. He's being cheesy again. <laughs> yeah, he's always very cheesy, apparently. Coco, Eco, thanks for being here and for enjoying the food. We hope you liked it. You think that this is uh, that this is such an amazing experience? <laughs> we absolutely did. Thank you so much. Except. Coco didn't actually eat anything. Poor dog. It's not healthy though, so yeah. <laughs> I'm so full. Same. Oh, sorry, that's the... Yeah. My happiness has been multiplied since Coco and Iko are also here. Oh, You're too sweet. Come on, we must go back to the lake now. The sun will disappear soon. Yeah, let's go then. Well then, this is where we part ways. It was nice to meet you. You're a very inspiring couple. Goodbye, Heather, Hachi. We wish you well. Bye, Coco. Bye, Coco and Nico. Have a nice trip. See you when I see you. <laughs> Yay, so that we finished our journey in this place excellently. Ooh, you obtained a spring emblem. It's a nice steel emblem with a springly vibe. Oh wait, so this was spring? It was not summer, huh? You'll have Heather a look for uh, for Hachi, and help Hachi fix the picnic table. You also made a choice to eat in the forest, which ended well. Oof. You've been uh, granted a token of appreciation for your kindness. You deserve it, Iko. Yay! <laughs> High five. I mean, you know, I guess it works. With a paw? Sure. It's time to continue your journey, Iko. Back to the hall, right? To Kuruta Hall. Yep. Here we are once again, in the hallway of Kuruto. Look, Iko. That's the door's emblem embedded in the wall. I think it goes because you finished our, uh, our we finished our journey in the season, right? So we have to fin we we have to have journeys in all seasons. What do you think? Um, not in excitement. Yes, I'm excited. Yes, <laughs> that's cute. Our adventure in spring was splendid, wasn't it? Which was your favorite moment, Iko? Hmm. Meeting Heather and Hachi, yeah, that was nice, because, you know, they're actually people, kinda, loaded horns, I don't know what they are, actually. Yeah, there, there were a couple of interesting and lively people. 
I was panicking for a bit when they were arguing. Thankfully, everything ended well. Great, let's do that again. The sand in the magic hourglass has flowed down. It means that there are two more chances left for us to take a major decision. Okay. So now, let's choose the next door. Before we continue though, you remember the blackwood, right, uh, Iko? Yep. Recall how it made us feel? The way it sucks the joy out of all of us? Let me tell you, it's caused by an evil force. There's an infamous creature here, relentlessly haunting the empty corners of Kuruko. Kuruto, not Kuruko, Kuruto. You don't have to worry though. I'm definitely keeping my guard up. <laughs> we have to keep moving. Also, don't forget that you can talk to me anytime, Iko. <laughs> but that was it, right? Because that was a... Uh... Yep. This is the end of the Hello Good Boy demo. Thanks for playing. Give your feedback and wishes it pretty, pretty, well, pretty please. All right, so that was the one. That was the demo version of um, Hello Good Boy, and as you can see, it's a pretty wholesome and chillaxing experience. You don't, you're not really rushed by anything. Um, the um, the mini games are not at all difficult. Um, of course, you know I'm I'm assuming that you'll get different endings based on the choices that you make. So that's that might be very interesting to um, and make for uh, higher replayability if you get you know I don't know four or five or six you know different endings um, based on your choices and you know where you go you know and what choices you make. Like because um, if the hourglass had like two more made see that's the thing we there's four seasons but it seems like the hourglass doesn't have enough sand um, for more than four major choices so who knows what's gonna happen in the full game we'll have to see um, how that hourglass actually you know deals with everything and if we have to like replay in order to get like choices on in other seasons that before that uh, we couldn't in a previous place. We'll have to see. But for now, that was it, everyone. That was um, Hello Good Boy. If you're interested in the game, you can wish it on Steam. Just see the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you know, give it a thumbs up. If you like what I do here, subscribe. Check out the back catalog. Check out YouTube, BitChute, Odyssey, Rumble, because I'm on all those platforms. And you can discover tons and tons of cool games if you do. And of course, after you do that, please take just half a minute to see the ways to which you can support me so I can continue doing gaming coverage like this and more for a very long time. I'm just gonna mention one thing. The best way to support me is to join my locals community, crypticybrid.locals.com. You can become a member for free or you can become a supporter for $4 a month. You get uh, per lots of perks as a supporter. You get a few perks as a member and uh, regardless if you become a supporter or a member, you get a free game upon sign up. So join my locals community and uh, yeah, that was it everyone. Thanks so much for watching and until the next time we see each other, have an awesome I was, I was an awesome boy, no, have an awesome day. <laughs>